So we're going out on the kayaks today. Uh, me, Adam, and Alex are out here. I'm going to be taking pictures from the kayak. I got my uh, camera set up on a tripod, uh, balanced kind of in the middle of the kayak, and so I'll, I'll show you my setup on that. Um, Adam is going to be videotaping, and Alex is going to be fishing in another kayak. So just over here, I'll show you my, my setup and, and what we got going on. A pretty standard setup. Uh, the kayaks a sit-in kayak as opposed to the ones that you sit on. Um, I got my tripod going to be kind of over top of my legs. And you really need a tripod that's going to spread out wide. Uh, like this man Frodo here, it's got the option to have the legs uh, spread out wide. And there's no center column here because that would just get in the way. So if you have a tripod with a center column that is removable, that would be ideal. Uh, the rain bag's just for protection uh, because a lot of times you get wet when you're kayaking. Uh, these paddles do have the drip guards right here on the side, so as you're going, water shouldn't really drip down too much. So this is just an added precaution for the actual setup and life jacket, of course, that sort of thing. So we'll go in the water and I'll, I'll show you kind of how stable this is and uh, share my settings with you. So I took the rain bag off, I'm feeling a little bit comfortable in the boat, so it's uh, a little bit slower to change your settings with the rain bag on, so I took it off, but it, it's a good thing to put on if you haven't done this before, if you're not too comfortable with it, it's highly recommended. The reason we're out here today is shooting from the kayaks is because the, the perspective you get when you're shooting in a boat like this is you, you can't beat it. You can't get these angles when you're shooting from shore. Um, we're sitting in a boat extremely low to the water, so any uh, beavers or water birds, anything like that you see, you're going to get a really great angle on them. And th that's the main reason. Im imagine you're shooting everything from shore, how boring that would be. So um, th there is a risk. But the reward is, is a big payoff when, when you do come across some animals and you happen to be in a boat. So just one more quick tip uh, in terms of autofocus. Um, I am in autofocus continuous. Uh, so what happens sometimes when you stop paddling and you're ready to take a picture, y your boat's going to drift on you. Uh, so depending on which way the wind's blowing and whatnot, you are going to be drifting away. So autofocus continuous, that's AFC on Nikon. Uh, on Canon, it is servo. So it could be frustrating if you're on single focus as you're drifting away from your subject.